Hey guys, Paul from Ultimate Fappener here. Today we're going to talk about nitric oxide supplements. Now these supplements are incredibly popular and they sell by the absolute truckloads. Some of the questions we're going to answer in this video today are, what are nitric oxide supplements? How do they work? Why should we or you care about them? What do the advertisers claim that they do and do they actually do that? And lastly, the last question is, should you take one? I'm going to answer all these questions for you in just 10 seconds. Don't go anywhere. All right, welcome back. So, what are nitric oxide supplements? Well, technically, any supplement that contains either arginine, agmatine, or citrulline is a nitric oxide supplement since all of these affect the production of nitric oxide in the body. Now, nitric oxide is a gas that plays all sorts of roles in the body, but the one we're most interested in is vasodilation. And vasodilation simply means it makes your blood vessels expand, and that's what leads to the muscle pump that these products are so famous for. Now, just as an aside, nitric oxide supplements can also be used for the treatment of erectile dysfunction, but I will talk about that in a different video. Now, most of the time when people refer to nitric oxide supplements, they're referring to pre-workout supplements because these products often contain a hearty dose of one or more of those three main ingredients that we're going to discuss, agmatine, arginine, and citrulline. Now, pre-workout supplements, if you're not familiar with them, are designed to be taken prior to a workout and they contain a number of ingredients designed to boost the efficiency of your workout. Now, in general, Nitric oxide supplements usually only make up a portion of these products formulas, but that's the portion we're going to talk about here today. So let's talk about how these supplements actually work. Let's discuss the three primary nitric oxide supplements. The most common nitric oxide supplement is arginine, and it's an amino acid which is converted into nitric oxide by an enzyme, a family of enzymes actually, called nitric oxide synthases. Simple, right? So you consume arginine in your pre-workout supplement and these little nitric oxide synthase guys come along and they break down the arginine and you end up with nitric oxide and an awesome pump. Now citrulline is an amino acid that our bodies regularly convert into arginine in something called the urea cycle. Now you don't really need to worry about the urea cycle and how it works. All you need to know is that citrulline is easily converted into arginine in the body. Now. Although arginine is the most common nitric oxide supplement and most common on most products, citrulline might actually be a better choice. Why? Well, because the more arginine you take and the more often you take it, the less effective it becomes at boosting nitric oxide. This is due to the ramping up of yet another enzyme called arginase, whose job also is to break down arginine. Now, remember those little nitric oxide synthase guys, those enzyme guys who come along and break arginine down into nitric oxide? Well, they're not the only enzymes which act upon arginine. And when this other enzyme, arginase, breaks down arginine, it means there's less arginine available to be converted to nitric oxide. Now, the reason why citrulline may be a preferred alternative to arginine for boosting nitric oxide is that citrulline actually inhibits the activity of arginase, and because it's easily converted into arginine itself, it ultimately bypasses this whole enzyme problem and gives us more nitric oxide. Now, if this doesn't make sense to you, don't really worry about it too much because all you really need to know is that citrulline may be a superior supplement as a nitric oxide booster. Agmatine is a relatively new addition to the pump products and is not, as you may have heard, a nitric oxide precursor. It does not work in an identical manner to arginine, which I have seen argued. It's simply not correct. However, it seems to affect nitric oxide production in other ways. And I'm going to talk more about agmatine in a separate video, simply because it's so new and there's really no published data on it from a sports performance perspective. Now, based on testimonials and anecdotal feedback, most people seem to think that it works fairly well. Okay, so why should you care about nitric oxide? Well, the reason why we care, I and mean, anybody who lifts weights and into bodybuilding and so on is interested in nitric oxide is because it enhances blood flow. 
blood flow delivers additional nutrients to the muscles, it lessens inflammation, and it leads to that pump that we all love, right? That feeling of the muscles being absolutely engorged with blood, that awesome feeling that we know, the pump, right? So what do the advertisers claim that these products do? Well, obviously they claim that awesome pump and whatnot, right? And that's true for sure, but, but most advertisers also claim better workouts and a boost in performance. How much of that is true? Well, let's take a look at our three ingredients and see what the science says about each one of them. As usual, you can find a link under this video to our articles on ultimatefatburner.com where you can find and review the clinical data that we used to come to our conclusions. Arginine. Now, some studies say it increases blood flow, but doesn't increase performance. A couple of others say that it does increase performance. I found one that actually indicates you can make you weaker, and still others say that it's too soon to know for sure. In other words, arginine definitely improves blood flow, but whether it actually improves performance has yet to be 100% confirmed. The data is conflicting and contradictory at this time. Citrulline, there's also a number of animal and human studies that suggest that citrulline does boost nitric oxide, and yes, there are a few studies that indicate a boost of performance. Now, please follow again the link to our article below in the description, and you can check out the studies for yourself. Now, as I noted earlier, it might be a better choice as a nitric oxide supplement, although stacking it with arginine may have a synergistic or additive effect. Agmatine. Now, while there is some preliminary study data that supports agmatine's nitric oxide boosting effects, no study data exists to prove or disprove its performance enhancing effects. So, at the end of the day, what does this really mean to you? What's the bottom line on nitric oxide supplements? Well, it means nitric oxide supplements are pretty good for delivering an awesome pump, but whether or not they actually get you any stronger and build muscle more efficiently or faster is far less clear. For the most part, the jury is still out. So, having said all that, should you take a nitric oxide supplement? Well, remember, if you're talking about pre-workout supplements, the nitric oxide ingredients are really just only one part of the equation. Now, I've always enjoyed these products and have used many of them over the years, and regardless of whether nitric oxide supplements actually help with performance and make you grow faster, you know, I love the pump, I love the energy, and I love the mental focus that some of the better products deliver, right? As long as you recognize that the benefits of the nitric oxide supplements we've discussed here might only be restricted to the pump they deliver and nothing else, and you're okay with that, then I don't think you're going to be unhappy with a properly formulated product. Now, if you're looking for a product to try, my recommendation is to try one that contains either citrulline on its own or a combination of citrulline and arginine. And I'll provide a product recommendation in the description under this video if you need a suggestion. As usual, if you have questions or comments or want to post feedback about some of the nitric oxide supplements you've used and your experiences with them, please leave them here below. I know our viewers would really appreciate it. I'd love to see them as well. I'd also really love it if you'd subscribe to this channel. It would really help me out. You'll be notified every time we post new uh, videos and so on. And of course, if you found the video helpful and really liked it, a thumbs up would be awesome too. Okay, that's it for this video. I really hope it helped. Thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you again really soon.